Maybe some of you already filled in this page. It's just looking at if you have a function that looks like this, x minus 2, what is its reciprocal? You write its reciprocal like this, 1 divided by the, the function, right? The function's in the bottom. This is a bunch of points that are on there and looking at which ones change, which ones don't change. You can, you can do that for yourself after. I want us to try, now mine flipped over to the next page here, but we're going to look at the graph of that. Um, and I want you to think about what what's going to happen. I'll leave you to graph that one yourself after. Actually, I have this thing for you to look at here. This is a slightly different function. This is um, 1 over x minus 1. All right, well, this, this black line here is x minus 1. So this is a straight line. We're going to look at what does its reciprocal look like, 1 over x minus 1. Um, if I If I graph the point for where that point is right now, where is it going to be? Remember, this is this has got a y value of 1.5, an x value of 1.5, y value of 0.5. Which one of those things changes when I do the reciprocal of the function? The y value. So where is it going to be? It is going to be right there, right? Same x value, reciprocal y value. You can actually think about it as these lines here, these uh, they're hard to see, but these green lines, that's kind of the boundary between the types of numbers we talked about, right? In here is small positive numbers, up here is big positive numbers. If you have a value in here, it's gonna, it's, it's almost like a kind of a weird reflection over this line. It's not really reflection because the distance is different, but if you have values in here, their reciprocals are out there, and if you have values out here, their reciprocals are in here. As this black dot, I'm going to move it to the right now, as it goes to the right towards this line, what's going to happen with this? So we're going to move this this way. What's going to happen with the reciprocal? As this value gets bigger towards 1, its reciprocal is going to get smaller towards 1, right? So we have this kind of uh, look to the graph here like this. It's going to approach it like that, okay? And then as this crosses over and now the black dot is above 1, its reciprocal is... Smaller than one, right? So you have that behavior, right? When the black dot was on this side, its reciprocal is outside. When the black dot has a value less than one, its reciprocal is greater than one. And then when it switches over here, its, its value is greater than one, so its reciprocal is less. The bigger you let this be now, if I continued this to the right, what's going to happen with this red line? The black dot has values that increase. The y value keeps getting bigger and bigger, so its reciprocal keeps getting smaller and smaller. But you said it's never going to get to zero, so what's how is this going to look if we extended it to the right? Yeah, it's going to look like an asymptote, like we did for logarithms and exp exponential graphs. This is asymptotic along the axis here. It's going to get closer and closer to zero, but never touch the axis, because no matter how big you make this, the reciprocal is never zero. If we go back the other way now, what's going to happen? As this gets closer and closer to zero, what's going to happen with its reciprocal? It's going to keep increasing, it's going to keep increasing, but what's going to happen as you get closer to zero here? It's going to go completely off the thing. Why is it going vertical like that? Where If I, if I go down here, you can't even see it anymore, but where is its reciprocal? Like, If I have a point that is, what are my coordinates here? If I get to, um, remember, you can see, you can actually see the coordinates over here. That y value is 0 0.07. Its reciprocal is here, 14 point, or 15 almost. Um, I don't know how much it's going to let me, how close it's going to let me get without kind of snapping to that point, but um, there the reciprocal of that is 42.75. As soon as I let it get to here, though, I don't know where my graph went. Um, as soon as I let it get to there, the reciprocal, it says it's undefined. I'm just going to draw this again. Yes, it is. Um, as soon as I get to this point, the graph is, there's no point for that graph. It's undefined. Okay? You can't do the reciprocal of zero, so it's not there. On this side, it's over here because they're negative, right? This graph has two pieces like that, and there's no value for this. There's no reciprocal there. 
Anytime you have a zero of the original graph, it's an it's a vertical asymptote of the reciprocal. They meet, they intersect again at where they did on the other side at one and negative one, and then the pattern just kind of works the same way on this side. Okay, as this gets bigger, that's going to get smaller. It's not letting me fill it in very well, but there you get the idea. Okay, that's what the reciprocal graph looks like. Things to notice: there are. I can just show the graph actually. There's the there's the graph. There are vertical asymptotes right here. Okay, there's a vertical asymptote there, which you can show with a vertical dotted line. Don't do it as a solid line. It's not part of the graph. It's just showing where the graph goes. I drew I drew these lines at one and negative one just to give you a guide for that's where they're going to intersect. A graph intersects its reciprocal at that point there, where the y values are 1 and negative 1. That's where that graph's going to intersect. Okay? If you were trying to draw this, those are two points you should you should draw to start with. If you're going to try and draw the reciprocal graph for this, you need to know where the zeros are of the original graph, as in where is the y value 0? If you have y equals x minus 2, look for the zeros. It has a 0 at, what, it, what does it mean to have be a 0? Zero? 0 of the original graph is where y is 0. If I put y, if I put 0 in there, x minus 2, x is 2. It's got a 0 at x minus 2. And where are the y values plus or minus 1? Well, if this was 1, I mean, you can do it graphically. You can draw the line here. Maybe we should do that, and that would be simpler at this, at this point. If you draw the line for x minus 2 and then do the reciprocal, you're looking, for, you're looking for a couple things to identify some points. You're looking for the zeros. They are going to become vertical asymptotes. And you're looking for... Where y equals plus or minus 1, those are going to be where they intersect with the, with the original graph. Okay? 1 over f of x intersects f of x. I think you can do this. There's a couple for you to do in here. There's that one. And there's this other one that's the reciprocal of a quadratic. Um, I will show you this reciprocal of this quadratic in a few minutes. I want to let you work on this, though, and give you enough time to get this done. I think you have enough information to do this. The very last thing here is, well, uh, there's a third one there that's just kind of a zigzag graph where you don't actually have the equation. Same idea. Look for the zeros. Look for the points where it's y, 1 and negative 1. And then the last thing here is combining it with other transformations. The reciprocal of f of x when you also have some other things, this is going to involve some thinking here. Think about the order that it takes to get it to whatever it looks like. There's a difference between 1 over 2 f of x and 2 times 1 over f of x. Like, did you multiply by 2 before or after you did the reciprocal? That's what you have to think about. What order did they have to happen in to, as starting with this? Did you do absolute value before or after? Did you reflect this? before or after. Can you get working on that? Don't forget there's uh, kind of the key up there, or there was the key up there. It seems to be gone now, but that's okay. Somebody's got it. And I would hope by the time you leave today, you understand reciprocal graphs. Maybe not every last question of every last thing on here, but that you have a good understanding of